Hello, this is Dr. David Oster, and this is a presentation that I put together on clavicle fractures. Clavicle fractures are relatively common in Colorado and occur frequently with many of the activities that people participate in. The clavicle is also known as the collarbone, and it's the only bone that attaches the arm to the body. Therefore, large forces are placed across it as people are doing activities. Collarbone or clavicle is outlined here and shaded in white with a uh, black border. Fractures commonly occur with many of the activities that we participate in Colorado, such as skiing, road biking, and mountain biking. Frequently, it gets injured when people come off the handlebars and land on their shoulder and incur large forces across the collarbone and a fracture occurs. Most fractures should and can be treated non-operatively. Usually a sling is required for comfort for about four to six weeks. Surgical management is rarely indicated. However, the indications or relative indications for surgery are shortening of the fracture or clavicle by one and a half to two centimeters. If there's significant displacement of the fragments, this increases the chances for the fracture not healing and if there's comminution or multiple pieces, this increases the risk for the fracture not healing as well. These are all relative indications to consider surgical management. So this is a patient that sustained a right clavicle fracture and this fracture is in multiple pieces and is displaced and we can see the number of pieces to be at least four pieces three of them are outlined and the reason to consider surgical management for this patient was the significant displacement as well as the comminution or it's in multiple pieces. Surgical management involves making an incision over the fracture line and then reducing these fragments back to each other. So the two intermediate fragments are brought back together and then the medial fragment or the fragment on the right side is brought together as well. These two intermediate fragments are then fixed to the larger fragments to make two pieces and then this construct is fixed and held together with a plate and screws. So the plate is placed on the top part of the clavicle or collarbone and then multiple screws are placed in the plate to hold this together anatomically. This patient after surgery was placed in a sling and this is what it looked like after surgery. These are the post-surgical radiographs with the plate and the screws placed and the fracture reduced and held together. This patient was placed in a sling for approximately a month's time and then gradually allowed to start to use the arm as they felt comfortable. So this presentation reviews the surgical and non-surgical options for clavicle fractures and shows an actual surgery on a patient with a comminuted right clavicle fracture. As mentioned, most clavicle fractures can be treated non-surgically. If you'd like to review other text or video about other orthopedic problems, please visit my website www.davidostermd.com. For an office appointment or evaluation, please call our office at 303 214-4500. Thank you.